no, not again. Now that's what you call reflexes. No, that's what you call a moron. So much for history repeating itself. Wow, that woman got some industrial size. Don't say it, JBL. What? What's wrong with saying it? Damn, that girl can put on a show. Never mind. I'm alive, I can't complain no more. The sun, I, baby, I don't see the rain no more. Listen, champ, I know you're the champion, whether you got that belt around your waist or not. But this is embarrassing. Now do whatever it takes to get it back or else. I'm so proud of you for doing whatever it takes to get back what's rightfully yours. Just when I think you can't impress me anymore, you find a way. You know you've got my support at ringside this week, no matter what. Cyber Sunday is this weekend, and SmackDown's champion will be there. Michael Cole and JBL at ringside, and tonight, the champ sends a message to the allies of the number one contender. I'll give him credit for asking for this handicap match, but he still hasn't gotten the title belt back. And you can only imagine the frustration building in the champion. Fine, he's angry. I get it. The question is, what's he going to do about it? These two have backed up the number one contender for the past several weeks. Tonight, they face the champion in a handicap match. And if the champ gets the worst end of it, he's got no one to blame but himself. He asked for it. Canada. And would you look at who's coming to ringside? The number one contender who is illegally in possession of the championship title. Yeah, well, after this Sunday, he might be its rightful owner, especially if his boys do a number on the champ tonight. Those who have talked to him backstage report that the champion is seething at the theft of his title. I'm not surprised. I can't imagine anything more disgraceful than going into a title defense without the championship belt. I'm Michael Cole, this is J.B. Allen, we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, <laughs> and it's great to be back. The Rose City's gonna get his face rocked tonight, and I, for one, can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. Come on, quit showing off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. Look at this, pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. There's no questioning Finley's toughness or that mean streak that runs straight through him. He can be downright sadistic to his opponents. Yeah, Belfast. Pretty tough town, uh, isn't it? That's an understatement. Belfast, here it is. He's building up a head of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake, and we're going to see that fire put out pronto. Looks like someone's moving up in the world. There's the cover. One, two. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and what a cowardly move. He can't win fair and square, so he tries to screw his opponent out of the victory. Hey, nothing wrong with going up that turnbuckle. Hurts a hell of a lot less than coming down from it. He's tagged in his partner. Uh 
and I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on a bad... He's got him covered! One, two... I love hearing a crowd come alive, even if I disagree. He made his opponent look like a chump with that counter. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely... He's going for the pin. One, two... I don't know if this is such a good move. This could be disastrous. Man, this one's turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got to admit, it took me by surprise, and that doesn't happen often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. The referee saw the tag. Oh, man, these WWE fans are... You gotta be careful when you're going up there. There's the cover! Can One, he do it? Two. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I just, he's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle! Ashley first came to the WWE as the winner of the Diva Search Contest, and it's not hard to see why. You'd have to be blind, deaf, and stupid not to. That is one. This is stupid. Why is he risking everything by going? He's three seconds away one, from victory. Two. He's going for the cover. One. Two. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring. To a high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. His opponent might not have One, enough left to kick two, out. Three. Watching. The no, not again. Now that's what you call reflexes. No, that's what you call a moron. So much for history repeating itself. Wow, that woman got some industrial size. Don't say it, JBL. What? What's wrong with saying it? Damn, that girl can put on a show. Never mind. interested to know that since your championship match takes place at Cyber Sunday, I've arranged for a second opponent for you, and you've been voting for him all month, whether you knew it or not. I can't believe you've been given a second opponent on such short notice, but it doesn't matter. I know you'll come through, just like you always do, and I'll be right there with you to see it. The challenger has made the champ's life a living hell all month. But he may have just fired up the champ even more. Or he might have made him so mad, he's not thinking straight. We'll find out when the rightful owner of the championship is decided tonight. They call themselves the only true royalty on SmackDown, and tonight is their chance to put their money where their mouth is. Not to mention the gold around his waist, which, by the way, is where it's been for the last few weeks. I don't know how they managed to make this a two-on-one match, but he'll be seconding the number one contender here tonight. The number one contender's a very resourceful individual, Michael. That's what makes him so incredibly dangerous. 
it seems like the numbers are always against him. But that hasn't stopped him from going after his opponents at every opportunity. And he got his belt back, which I wasn't expected. Now let's see if he can keep it. What a counter! That went nowhere. obvious which way this one's gonna go, JR. Well, from my perspective, this is still anybody's match. I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR. Uh oh Come on! You gotta stop this guy before he really gets going! I don't think that's gonna happen, King. He's built up too much momentum to be stopped now. Well, all I can say is someone's been eating their vitamins and saying their prayers. Oh, boy. Oh. The adrenaline is pumping. I think this could be the beginning of the end. No, it can't end like this. Come on, do something quick. Look at this. Look at this. You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here. Yeah, well, somebody better put out that fire, or this one's not going to end well. <laughs> you got to respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional yeah. athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for it. Can his opponent kick out of this One. pinning predicament? Two. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars... Oh, sure. Now the fans start to cheer for him. Now that he's in the driver's seat... Come on, King. He's had the crowd behind him. Oh, man. I think we're about to see a high-risk move here. Looks like he's trying for a pin One, here. Two. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's going to go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. You know, JR, what does he think he's doing? He's just showing off for the crowd now. He's wrestling the match his way. And I think it's going to pay off, mark my words. Jeff Hart is a great singles competitor, but tag team action is where he really shines. Not to take away from the Hardys' multiple tag team title reigns, but Jeff has also... In Here's the pin! Could this be it? One, two, three. Well, we haven't seen much of... The champion has successfully defended his title. I don't believe it. Talk about overcoming the odds. And the challenger is absolutely livid. This is just embarrassing, Michael. He's making a complete jackass of himself. If you ask me, he's been doing it for the past several weeks. Ambushing the champion, stealing the title. That's all part of wearing the champ down. I get that. But this is just a temper tantrum. I don't know if he'll be given another run at the championship after this. Well, there's no denying his ability, but he's got some growing up to do. Congratulations, champ. I've got to admit, it took me a little while, but now I finally see what all the fuss is about. I've sent you a little something to remember me by. Give me a call sometime, if you want.
Survivor Series is right around the corner, champ. And I need to start putting together our Survivor Series team. I want to see how one superstar in particular stacks up against a champ. So I made a match between you this week. Welcome to SmackDown, where Survivor Series is less than three weeks away. This is Michael Cole here with John Bradshaw Layfield at ringside, and the champion is in action tonight. And this might be a non-title match, but the champ better wear his working boots. You can say that again. His opponent is in consideration for SmackDown's Survivor Series team. And there's no better way to evaluate a superstar than to put him in there against the champ. He's legitimately one of SmackDown's toughest superstars, and what an asset he would be to SmackDown's Survivor Series team. SmackDown's team has got to represent the brand at Survivor Series and prove that we're the best in the business, and this guy is one of the best in the business, no question. And this man just might be the very best in the business. His preparation for Survivor Series begins here tonight. And he better be ready because Raw is going to be at Survivor Series 2, and everyone's counting on him to blow them out of the water. Each of these competitors is looking for... There's oh, the cover! Can he do it? It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they are going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, anytime you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're get Here it is. He's building up a head of steam, and he's about to let his One. opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. One. Two. These superstars have been giving it everything they've got all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb condition This superstar is all fired up. And so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake and we're going to see that fire put out Ugh. pronto. Ugh. 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 Nice reversal. Ugh. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, but if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Come on, quit showing off. This is a wrestling match. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. <laughs> Here's the pin. One, two. No matter where he goes, Jeff Hardy always enjoys enthusiastic fan support. Of course he does. These people want to cheer someone who's as big of a loser as they yeah. are. This match proves without a doubt why SmackDown, I've seen matches won and lost because of moves like this. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy right now. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained double... This is going to be big, one way or the other. We've heard... He's going for the pin. This one, could be it. Two, three. I think we might... Even brought the ECW champ. This might turn ugly fast. No, no, no. We're just here to offer a little challenge. Since ECW is the most dominant brand of sports ever, 
It's Mr. McMahon and the WWE Champ. Let me remind you that you are standing in my ring. That makes this ground zero, mister. But you know, your boldness has sparked in me a wonderful idea for Survivor Series. Now the main event will be a triple threat match between the WWE, World Heavyweight, and ECW Champions. Hey, Champ, I bet you're not too happy that the chairman of World Wrestling Entertainment is backing your opponent at Survivor Series. Just wanted to let you know that not every member of the McMahon family feels that way. Listen, I'm going to inherit this company from my old man someday, right? So why should I wait for him to decide to retire? If he beat my father's favorite at Survivor Series, then maybe the great Vince McMahon will lose some of his appetite for the business. Listen, I've lined up someone who might be able to help you. He'll be giving you a call. Survivor Series is just over one week away. Michael Cole here with JBL at ringside, and what a main event we have for you tonight. SmackDown versus Raw, and a champion versus champion match. And I'm glad the titles aren't on the line, because I'm not sure our champ has what it takes. Well, there's some team spirit for you. I think the champ's going to do just fine. Man, I hope so. This could get embarrassing in a hurry if he doesn't. He's one of the greatest superstars in sports entertainment history, and he holds Raw's highest honor. And you know he wouldn't come to SmackDown if he didn't think he had a shot at making our champ look like an idiot. He's proved himself time and again here on SmackDown, and this is the champion's opportunity to prove himself against Raw's best. Yeah, but remember, at Survivor Series, he'll face both Raw and ECW's champions and all three titles will be on the line. Wow, great reversal. What a counter that was. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this superstar is all fired up. And so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake, and we're going to see that fire put out pronto. Uh. Uh. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let... Here it is. He's building up ahead of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. Nice quick counter there. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. 
It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And you come on, quit showing off. This is a wrestling Mark. match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before. He's been wrestling his style Mark. of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. Two. You can search the world over and you won't find another superstar like the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy. And I, for one, am grateful for that. The last thing this company needs is another. Now there's a superstar with guts. These top rope moves don't hurt. There's the reversal. Here's the pin. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they're going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it's... This is just dumb. You don't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I disagree. Getting the crowd on your side can be a huge psychological boost. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can. They Looks like someone's moving up in the world. You know there's such a thing as play. He's three seconds away One, from victory. Two. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great... He's going up, and what goes up must go down. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious. He's going for the pin! One, two. Look at that! That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up. I think he's gonna fly. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction in my opinion. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to strain yourself a little bit, okay? Top rope moves can win or lose you the match. There's very little middle ground. He may get the three count right One, here. Two. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy right now. Look at this, pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Man, this could be three right here. One, two, three. What in the world happened to... I don't think he was too happy with the reception he got here on SmackDown. If he was thinking he was going to get anything else, He's delusional. I'm sure he's not used to that sort of treatment on Raw. Yeah, well, I got news for him. This isn't Raw, and I couldn't be happier about that. And I think tonight only fueled his desire to emerge victorious in Survivor Series. I just hope our champion feels the same way. SmackDown's got to come out on top at Survivor Series. We've got to. Congratulations on your victory, champ. But you can't count on getting that lucky again at Survivor Series. With my ECW champion involved in the match, are you sure you haven't bitten off more than you can chew? Maybe on ringside, and can you imagine the pressure our champion must be under? Part of being the champ is dealing with the pressure, Michael, but I don't envy him one bit. A loss here tonight would rob him of momentum heading into Survivor Series. But if he puts too much into tonight's match, 
He might not have enough left in the tank Sunday. Talk about your rock and hard place. My name is How'd you like that to face this superstar just before defending your brand's honor and championship at Survivor Series? Most guys in the locker room might take it easy on the champ in this situation, just out of brand loyalty. But this guy's an A1 nutcase. Who knows what he'll do? He looked great last week against Raw's champion. A win here tonight would give him a huge amount of momentum heading into Survivor Series. Yeah, but he can't go all out tonight. He's got to save something for Sunday. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. He may get the three count right One, here. Two. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Here it is. He's building up ahead of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side. Going up that turnbuckle hurts a hell of a lot less than going down front. A textbook reversal. There's the cover. Can One, he do it? Two. Man, this one's turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared. Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. Come on. You're looking at a superstar who can feed off the crowd and use that energy to win the match. Yeah, that's just great. Why right. don't you just quit showing off and get down to business? He is getting down to business. Dude. He's in the sports entertainment business, isn't he? You're right about that. Without the right. fans, we'd all be out of a job. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the Four. attitude you have to take. I don't think he's going to win any fans over with that. It's not about ah. winning over fans. He's letting everyone know that he doesn't care what they think. He was one step ahead on that one. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, but if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy right now. Yeah? Well, one mistake, and we're going to see that fire put out pronto. When you think of how many years Finley has been in this business, it's amazing that he can still compete at the level he does. No kidding. He's taken. You got to be careful when you're going up there. I think we might be looking. On the mat, shoulders down. One, this could two, be it. Three. Man. the champ needed that's it forget about it smackdown's got no chance at survivor series hold on we still don't know the extent of the injury it might not be as bad as it looks listen he can't afford to suffer any injury this close to survivor series well we've seen him battle back against the odds before i hope he can do it again this sunday i hope so too but let's face it it doesn't look good Damn it! Oh.
I just had this car detailed. So you think you're too good to defend your championship against my champion? Is that it? I hate one-sided conversations. Now, I gotta go get my car waxed, so I'll get my friend here to help you up. Did you really have to plow him into my car again? Ugh, never mind. 